Thank you for tuning in to Alert Culture. If you end up enjoying this video, be sure to remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We are a small channel, and with your help, we will be able to grow. Asterol was an African-American actress who portrayed Florida Evans in the 1970s TV shows Mod and Good Times. This character did end up bringing her national recognition and prompting her campaign against racial stereotyping. She even went as far as to give up her coin and leave the cast of Good Times because she felt so strongly about the way her TV son was being portrayed in the Well, how do, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with your, 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 that stardom? Uh -huh. Oh. It's easy. Be yourself. See? That's all there is to it. Esther was born into a very big family. She was a 10th of 18 children. So that's a middle child for you, okay? She came from a really talented family. She herself could act, sing, and dance. In her early 30s, she went on to marry a very popular basketball player at the time named Oscar Robinson. People say that Esther really loved being a housewife. One of the things that Esther could do best was cook. And they said she would cook dinners that were made for a king. Through her love of cooking, she did end up gaining a little bit of weight. When she had first got married, she was a dancer, she was fit, but towards the end of their marriage, she was a little bit overweight. With the extra weight being possibly a factor, Esther ended up getting diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. She also was unable to stop smoking cigarettes. Five years into the marriage, Florida and Oscar got divorced. I could not find why they got divorced, but the factors were she was a celebrity actress and he was a celebrity athlete. So you can kind of put one and two together. They did not have any children together. In the middle of her run on Good Times, Esther did end up releasing a debut album. The album was called The Garden of My Mind, and it was kind of a mix of spoken word as well as singing. See? Is it a game? A game they call, they call geography? geography? What? Is the whole wide world to me. A year later, in 1976, she graduated from Spelman College. In 1979, after Good Times ended, on show. I've never um, run around Hollywood looking for work because I have, uh, I'm a sensitive person. And it has, um, for me, it brings back the auction block. I just wanted to get name recognition and some of that lights, cameras, action. My goal was not stardom. My goal was not Hollywood. Mm -hmm. My goal was a good actress. She kept a steady roll of credits next to her name each year. She starred as Mama in I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, The Maya Angelou Story. She starred as Colleen in The Incredible Hawk. She was also in Murder, She Wrote. She was um, in Rosewood. She was in A Raisin in the Sun. She also had a role on House of Cards. In 1990, when Esther was 69 years old, she was a passenger in a car that was traveling northbound. That car rolled over into oncoming traffic. Esther suffered cuts on her head, face. She fractured her ribs and had a bruised heart. The driver, Pauline Hopkins, who is 70 years old, she was actually pronounced dead. At in the 90s, Esther's health began to fail. Towards the end of her life, she found herself on kidney dialysis due to the complications of diabetes. However, she still continued to work. In 1997, she was Aunt Sarah in Rosewood. She was nominated for an Image Award for that role. That same year, she also was a part of the Psychic Network and did several commercials as a psychic. Hello, I'm Esther Rowe. When I'm faced with a tough decision, 
I look for something that can point me in the right direction. Everyone looks for signs, but when you need real guidance, there's one place you can call anytime. The Spiritual Psychic Helpline. It works. In 1998, she starred alongside Wesley Snipes and Alfred Woodard in Down in the Delta. Now, a month before that movie's premiere, and a week after her 78th birthday, Esther unfortunately passed away. At this time, Esther was divorced and she had no children. When Esther died, she did leave an estate valued in excess of $1.7 million, including $200 in cash, a $400,000 home, $1 million in treasuries. In addition, she owned stock and several mutual funds. We respect Esther for what she stood for. She was a proud woman who never let anybody push her over. She stood up for the rights of African Americans and protecting our image in the media. Even the theme song of Good Times I always felt was kind of shabby, especially the part when they say easy credit ripoff. I always sat at that part of the song because I'm like, what does that have to do with black people? Like. Not all black people are scammers. You get what I'm saying? We appreciate her strength. Rest in peace, Esther Roll. You are an icon. Thank you so much for tuning into Alert Culture. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. We do try to continue to improve our craft. So follow us along on our journey and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell. Again, your comments below help us out tremendously. What movie... Um, episode or um, role did you like Esther in most? Have a great day.